ScreenFlow's audio tools are just powerful enough. Uh, they're not an expansive audio editor. It's not trying to be a replacement to the high-end software out there, but there are some things that are really useful for working on your projects. So this is a screen recording I just did with me adding some tasks to things, and it's you know nothing special. You can see this was recorded with the built-in microphone, and if I just play it back, this is another one making a lot thrilling, right? Um, but basically what I can do here is I can see these waveforms are really small. And so I can increase the volume to try to get those a little bigger. And so that makes them a little louder, which is nice. Um, I can also just mute the track if I want. So then I can play back and there's no audio. It's just not playing this at all. Um, that's really only useful if you have like competing sources, like if you, uh, especially it's useful on video recordings. So if you like record it out of a camera of like a video of yourself and it has video and audio combined in one track, you may want to mute the audio from this and use the audio from another track, music, another voiceover, something like that. But um, that's basically what you can do there. Uh, ducking is a nice feature so that if you have music, you'll usually put that underneath here and then you would use ducking on the music so that it would naturally, as you talk, it would lower the music underneath your talking and then it would rise up, it would bring up the volume of the music when you weren't talking to fill up the empty spaces. And so that's a pretty nice feature if you wanna do that automatically without editing yourself in this giant room. But you know, you can do all sorts of different things. Um, I could do like a small room and do that same thing. Yeah, so it's just, you can do different ones. Oftentimes you're not gonna want anything. Those are kind of novelties. You'll also notice the smooth volume levels. So what I can do here is let me move this back to 100%, just normal volume. And then I'm going to, you can kind of see the track here. Just keep an eye on these waveforms. I smooth the volume levels and now it's even them out. So everything is pretty even. And so even here where I kind of say something loud and then quiet. I'm going to talk a little louder here and a little softer here. You can still hear a bit of a difference and you can see it in the waveforms, but it's much closer than it was. If I go back to how I originally recorded, I'm going to talk a little louder here and a little softer here. There's definitely more of a difference here than when I smooth the volume level. So it smooths them out, evens them out, which is really helpful because in most cases, unless you're a professional recorder, uh, you're not going to have the same volume all the time when you're talking. And so this helps you get closer to even. You can also change your audio mix so you can choose left and right channels, how much is coming out of each one. Uh, for an example, if you're doing an interview, you could have one voice coming out of the left, one voice coming out of the right. I think that's usually pretty distracting, so I never use this, <laughs> but you can have control over that if you'd like. And then there are these effects and audio filters. And audio filters are too deep for me to really get into. Um, there's some stuff with like uh, distortion where like you can just see, like look at all these controls. Uh, these are a lot of things that are kind of built into uh, Mac OS, um, this gets super deep, this is super complicated, and frankly, I'm just not the person to tell you about them, but if you are able to kind of look at this and be like, oh, I know what's going on, uh, all these controls are here, which is super, super cool. What's more easy to use is the effects. So there are effects that you can use on these tracks, such as a uh, large chamber. And so let me go back, and this is what I would sound like coming from a large chamber room. This is another one, I'm making a lot of typos right now, which of course and I sound like the most rude person in the world <laughs> right there uh, doing my task management out loud uh, in this giant room. But, you know, you can do all sorts of different things. Um, I could do like a small room and do that same thing. This is another one. I'm making a lot of typos right now. Which of course... Yeah, so it's just you can do different ones. Oftentimes you're not going to want anything. Those are kind of novelties. Actually, let me turn that off as well. This is another but yeah, you have control over those. Um, and again, just like video actions, there are audio actions. So maybe if I want uh, to kind of fade out back here, I can do an action, it throws this on here, and then I can reduce the volume to zero. And so actually, let me go, if you watch the video tutorial, you know how this works. Uh, we'll do a linear one and we'll actually just have my voice fade out here. So let's see how that works. Is another one and it just fades out. So just like that, and you can see if you watch up here as it plays, you can see it go down in real time. So you can also do transitions from loud to soft, different effects and all that uh, through actions as well. So that's how audio works in ScreenFlow.